Hello and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today we're going to tie a dry fly and it may well be the very best uh, tying for an olive uh, that is out there. Right, so let's get into the materials and as to why this is so perfect. Um, for the body, I'm going to use Kapok. Now this is a light olive Kapok and it is a very, very fine dubbing material. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with Kapok, it is the fiber that protects the seeds in the seed pods of the Saba tree or the Kapok tree. And it's like a cotton um, fiber, but what is so different and so interesting to us is that it is water repellent. And I don't have to tell you what that means to a dry fly. So uh, let's get into the tying. Uh, in the vise, I have a size 16. Now, under normal circumstances, I will tie in an 18, but I'm tying it a little bit bigger so you can see what's occurring. And I'm using a gray olive uh, tying thread, and this is 10 0. So I'm going to start it just behind the eye. And for the tail, I'm going to use some uh, Coq de Lyon and won't need many fibers, two or three fibers. And I'll tie those in. Now the length of the tail, um, a little bit longer than the length of the body. Yeah, that looks about right and I'll tie that down back to the rear of the fly. And I'm going to put just one wrap underneath to uh, lift and separate the fibers for the tail, like so. And I'll trim off the excess. Right, now, as I said, this is a very, very fine dubbing. So uh, you can make it fairly thin at the rear and build it up as you go along the body, as it would be for the, uh, the natural. Don't want to it too tight uh, because then the air won't get into the material to help it float. Up to the thorax area and tie that off. Right, now for the rib, I'm going to use the excess tying thread. Now, if you want to use yellow tying thread, because I know some of you like a yellow rib, then that's fine, but I prefer uh, a darker rib on this particular fly. And I'll tie that off. And trim that up. Now for the wing, I'm going to use some CDC. And this is a natural wild brown CDC. So I have uh, three uh, feathers here. Uh, I may well use uh, just two for uh, a size 18, but I'm just going to marry them up. Like so. And tie them in facing the rear. Just going to bend up the stalks and trim those off. And tie down the butts. Right, now for the thorax, I'm going to use some uh, hair mix. Won't need too much of it. Just to create a, a small thorax. Pop 
be sufficient. Take off the excess. Right, now to create the wing, I'm going to pull all of these fibers forward and tie them down with a couple of wraps. And then a couple of wraps underneath. I'm going to take the points of the three feathers and pull back the longer fibers and tie down the feathers. And trim off the stalks. Right, to create the V-wing that we are looking for, I'm just going to do a fairly simple figure of eight. Uh, try and get it as close as you can to the middle. I don't think it's that important. And before I tie it off, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue onto the thread. And I'm going to use a half hitch tool to tie it off. And trim up. The excess thread. Right now I'm just going to brush out just a little bit the hair from underneath for the legs and the length of the wing uh, not much longer than the length of the fly. I'll just make sure that that eye is clear so and there you have the finished fly as i said this is a, a size 16 uh, and i like fishing the size 18 which that is it is really a super fly i hope you enjoyed the tying of this olive and uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next video uh, do hit the bell to subscribe and thanks for viewing bye